King, 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 king,
Titus versus Rusev, Titus versus Rusev, Titus versus Rusev, Titus versus Rusev. Same big clothesline spot on the outside. Change the bloody record, will you, for God's sake. It's five past John, and this time he got an American sports reference wrong. He claimed that Titus O'Neil played for the Tampa Bay Bandits, who, according to Wikipedia, that bastion of news and information, folded in 1986. That would make Titus well past his 50s then, wouldn't it? It's ten past John, it's rapid fire, rapid fire John O'Clock. He said that that count out victory for Titus O'Neil was the biggest of his career and then went on to bring up that he's a tag team champion, or a former tag team champion I should say. So how is a count out win against Rusev in a non-title match bigger than winning a championship in WWE? Think about it, John, for God's sake. It's quarter past, John. The rapid fire continues. And he said that that count out win for Titus against Ruru could pull Titus into the championship picture for that match he's always longed for. Rusev versus Titus O'Neil for the United States Championship took place nine days ago. He's already had that match that he longed for. You're just putting it on a plate now, John. You're making it far too easy for us. I don't want to do this. Believe it or not, I don't want to. Did the jobber cover the whole corporate cane return when I was away? I don't know. I watched the first half of the first one he did, and then he died cringing, so I've not watched another second of it since. But why is corporate cane back at Hell in a Cell 2015? He lost to Seth Rollins, or Demon Kane lost to Seth Rollins, meaning corporate cane was fired. Have they just brought him back just for the crack? No explanation? Probably, because that's what WWE does best. Don't tell us at nothing. Getting a bit angry today, me. The Miz's phone went off three times during that promo with Stephanie McMahon and Corporate Kane. Ha 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 Oh. John Cena says 14 years. Here's to 14 more. For fuck's sake, he's going to be 53 years old and still have that bastard shovel out killing everybody on that roster. Oh, no. That guy there went to a WWE televised event, decided to get a tick on the front row and took a knockoff Intercontinental Championship with him. Some people have no shame, do they? Despicable. Buy the real one, man, for God's sake. Shame! Shame on you! Shame! John Cena turned into Popeye with that horrible uppercut. He might as well have stood there, wound his arm for half a bastard hour and then went zing! He was about seven yards away from Seth Rollins' chin. Who was he trying to fool? Stupid shovel-wielding idiot. The sign that read, my mom, that's American for mom or mum, hits harder than AJ Styles. I find this hard to believe, quite frankly. Can your mom really jump on the top rope and give a phenomenal forearm halfway across the ring? I don't, I don't oh, Not even worth it, is it? New Era? New Era, we're going back to 1992 with massive squash matches. Oh, I do like a good squash match, though. That was a bad one, though. One splash for a victory. You've got to be joking. You can't be serious, Jeff. So the social outcasts claimed they were H-A-R-D hard live on Raw and that they were looking for some action. I mean, I had a good look down there. They didn't look very hard. I mean, who's the fluffer backstage? That's the question I'm asking. Sonny? Maybe? Probably. You know, you know what you're like. Sami Zayn claims it was he who cost Kevin Owens the Money in the Bank briefcase at Money in the Bank nine days ago. <laughs> it was Dean Ambrose. He tipped KO off the ladder, not you, Sammy. Chris Jericho claimed that Kevin Owens will never be as good as him. But before I went to France to battle with the Russians in the Marseille Ultras and claim France is my own, I saw Chris Jericho on SportsCenter with the coach where he sandpicked KO as his next breakout style, the next big thing in WWE. Stupid, hypocritical, moron, parasite. See what I did that combined two years of Jericho there? I am f***ing clever, aren't I? Bloody hell, Kevin, don't know how you're doing, me old mucker, it's been a while. But he was back because Raw went literally black for me. There was a dark screen. And that doesn't normally happen. It was probably Kevin's fault. He probably tripped on the wire or something. WTF Momon. You know when Alberto Del Rio bitch slapped Seamus in the face just before he kicked him off the apron and took off? Well, the referee called for a tag for that slap. 
Seamus wasn't even holding the rope. It's the little details, you zebra idiot morons. You just don't pay attention to them, do you? And I'm glad you do, otherwise I would be out of a job. Thanks. Why were Biggie's feet white? I mean, the rest of him's... Nah, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean, though. Seth Rollins was on commentary for the main event, and he openly admitted in front of the world that he's tried to murder Dean Ambrose numerous times. I mean, attempted murder, Seth. It's not big and it's not clever. And neither has taken pictures of your willy and sent them to a woman who might put them on the internet. Learn from your mistakes, Bonnie lad. Learn from your mistakes. And we end with a bundle of joy from Maggle Cole, who, when AJ Styles applied his calf crusher on Dean Ambrose in the main event, yelped at the top of his little lungs, the calf crusher from Seth Rollins, when Seth Rollins was sat there, right next to him. I mean, I've done one show, one show in WCPW, and I'm already better than all the commentators on Raw. Just ask the internet, they're in love with me, I'm just so good. I mean, it's just, it's just, just off, Michael! Just right then, I'm back, and that's it for all the WTF moments from WWE Raw. How much better am I than Jack, eh? He's so lucky to have a job here, it's unreal. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy these grapes. You know, just, hmm. Oh, f I've dropped one. <laughs>